welcome guys to another episode of welcome. Gear Talk with Service UK and today we have something very, very special. Don't well, we? look what's landed. The poor old postman had to come on a sack truck. But anyway, we've got some wonderful new kit. And as you guys know, we've been working with Infrared, uh, part of the Infrared uh, Technologies Group for a couple of years now. I've been really impressed with the kit we've been sent out, the spotters, the scopes, and we've shared that with you and you've seen what we've done online. But what they've done now is they've created another company uh, called Noctpix, which is a uh, take on nocturnal pixels, specifically for us guys for the hunting market and putting every bit of technology they can in, specifically for us out in the field where the use of the thermal is very important to us. And for guys like you watching this, and that's where they're going to invest their technology based on us guys out in the field uh, and the reviews we give back and try and give the best products we can to the hunting industry. Yeah, I think it's important to understand that Infrared as a whole supply many, many different products, not just in the hunting industry, do they? Yeah, it wasn't until I looked really on the website, uh, I saw what they did, surveying, thermal, eat, everything, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, it was. I didn't realise it wasn't just purely hunting, it was a way bigger picture. So what they've tried to do with this is focus it on us guys and give the best products we can. And we're going to test them and record what we do and share it with you guys. And uh, we've got three products. We've got the Ace, which is a scope, you can see. Um, the Vista. The Vista. And we've got the little. Lumi. Lumi. Both of these are handheld spotters, but it's the Vista that um, I'm going to unpack and get out into the field and share with you how it works. And looking at the, um, the spec sheet for it, I can't wait. So um, without much more ado, let's unpack it. So what we have here is the uh, Vista H50R, which is uh, the top of their range. And uh, it's made of a very robust cardboard, the box. And uh, immediately upon opening, you can see it's a uh, high quality, quick start guide. Pull out the unit, which is in a black bag. More fingers and thumbs today, Dan. Useful piece of sponge. I'll put that down there. Come on, get it open. That's oh. it. Let's put that over there. Wow. So this is the product. Look at that. Lovely. Nice and solid. Nice and ergonomic. Yeah, and what else have we got in the box? Well, it oh, says on here, that's the, that's the strap there for the holder. Can you see there? So oh, that features on there. That, uh, so that, that goes on case. there. And go on. Let your old man work it out. There we go. It's like Christmas. Watching it's like Christmas. Presents. It's like Christmas, and I'm not used to Christmas because I normally have to buy all the presents. So there you go. Look. Oh, yeah. So that's that your one. box there, that's and then that fits onto there. Yeah. So that's for your carrying case. Yeah. So we'll put that down there. Put that down there. And then on here, look, you've got some icons, which shows me there's a battery, yeah. a cleaning cloth, uh, a harness for wearing that, to put it onto the actual unit, and then a charging plug, so. Uh, it's like almost opening a, an I Apple hope. product. <laughs> but it's just like that, it's like opening an Apple product. So there's, I've got the that to fit onto there, a spare battery, there's a battery already in it. You always lose batteries. I yeah. always need batteries, and then a charging lead. And what's that underneath? Oh yeah, a cleaning cloth, so uh, yeah. to protect the lens. Wonderful. Great. Okay, so we've unpacked it, Dan. And these are the bits and bobs that we've got. We've got the main unit, uh, which is the Vista. And um, we've got the carrying case for that. So, And that has a strap to go with it to uh, put over your shoulder. Uh, we've got a, a quick start guide to how you um, operate it. It's very simple anyway. There's only four buttons on there, but we'll run through that in a minute. Um, we've got a charging lead. Uh, a soft cloth for wiping it with an additional battery. So there's a battery in here already. And um, hang on, I'll just show you that. There you go. Working without the aid of a safety net here. Uh, you've got a battery there and then you've got an additional battery in there. So uh, they're telling us it's getting, I think, nine hours uh, out of it. So should get about 
two and a half, three stalks, which is what you guys want to hear. Uh, not the hours, but how many stalks you can get out of it. So on my outings are normally three, four hours out in the field. So you get at least two outings with it. So, uh, yeah. And you charge it through that port there, which is uh, just plugged straight in there. And then that's straight into a 13 amp USB. So uh, very simple, just push that back into there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, lovely little unit. What, what's your, what's, what are you thinking, Dan, when you're looking at it? Excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> excited. We don't get much new kit. So uh, yeah, really nice. And again, this is the uh, H50R, which is the uh, top of their range. Obviously, people want to know what's so good about this model. The technical bits. What makes this better than everything else? I just use them, but for the... Uh, the shed heads out there this is the h50r which is the top of the range one i've already told you that uh, and it's got a 640 by 512 at a 12 micron sensor it's sub 15 natd which is best in class i think it's uh, i've looked at its competitors and i can't see anything that's sub 15 at the moment um so that's an awesome uh, selling point for me uh, it's got an objective lens which is 50 mil um f 0 0.9 uh, and it's got a 4 to 40 magnification it's very user friendly um, it fits nicely in your hand which i believe they call ergonomic and it's got seven different color palettes done yeah i think within those seven color palettes i think what was important for me when we've used thermals in the past is that especially at that kind of low light uh, you know the last 20 30 minutes of light you kind of constantly using your thermal, and in the past, my eyes have really fatigued. To yeah. the point where you're coming off the thermal, and you kind of your vision is almost blurred a bit. I know, I agree with you, and that's why I use my left eye quite a bit. But um, I use white hot; that's my preferred uh, color on my thermal devices that I use. But this has got seven, so before I've had four. What are the additional colors, Dan? I think we've got crimson. Crimson, I know that one. Violet. Yes, and the one I can't say. Viridian. Viridian. Crimson uh, obviously being red and viridian being... And these green. are a lot better for my eyes, those 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 three additional ones yeah, apparently. Yeah, so, so what they are is basically protective eye palettes, basically. And they we help reduce the therma into your eyes. We're going to let you see these colour palettes um, as we're out in the field and we scroll through them. And I'll be letting you know which one I prefer. So it weighs uh, 650 gram, which initially when you take it out compared to perhaps my... Um, my infrared one I've been using throughout the summer is slightly heavier, mm -hmm. but this has got a range finder on it, so um, it goes out to 1200 meters, and um, it's a really handy um, piece of kit to have with your thermal. So, wherever you're looking, you can see you find an animal, uh, so you can ID it, you'll know if it's at 600 meters, 300 meters, whatever it's at. So, that's really good. Um, we've already mentioned the color palettes. Uh, and then it's got an AMO LED of 2560 by 2560, but that's actually a round display. Yeah. And uh, you can, when you look through it, it's very, you liken it to your rifle scope. Yeah. Uh, with some of the old ones, were like, they were very square. This is like a round display. Then it, it just syncs with your rifle scope um, that you're going to possibly take the shot through. So, um, yeah. We're going to take these out into the field and we're going to show you some content of us using it and what we actually think about it being used for what it's intended. And yeah, so this, this is just a first look, kind of our first opinions on it and um, it's exciting. Exciting, I'm very excited. And um, yeah, we've got the Lumi and we've got the Ace as well. And we'll be doing a similar thing and sharing that with you on our, um, on, on our channels.